to see how he was then with hardly any movement at all, any care at all, to now is unbelievable. Of all the calls Bob Dotson has taken in his time as a Clare County Animal Control Officer, the one he responded to on June 3rd of 2017 has by far been the worst. An individual called in and said that she had a dog in her backyard, it looked like his nose had been cut off. That dog was this guy, <laughs> Remy, and it was clear he had escaped what had been days of torture. He was pretty bad. His, the tip of his nose was cut off about a quarter of an inch and under with the vet looking at him through his investigation found out that he ended up having right around 13 stab wounds on him. A lot of the wounds were two to three days old. Remy made it through surgery and was brought to the Clare County Animal Shelter where he continued his recovery. 180 turnaround and you think that he would hold a grudge against people but he doesn't. You know from the second week that he was here he was running in the yard with stitches still in him and going after tennis balls. And it was his obsession with those tennis balls that would trigger a call to Brian Gregory of Northern Michigan Canine and forever change Remy's life. When I train dogs, I look for them to have a desire for a toy and uh, Remy's, Remy's desire is through the roof. So um, he's just one of those rare dogs that have this talent and ability. Talent and ability Brian realized would make Remy perfect to start training as a law enforcement detection dog. It does make it special to think that he can go from what he went through to where he's going to have a life that, you know, dogs dream of. <laughs> a life that just months ago did not seem possible. Nice to see him going someplace where he's going to be put to good use instead of just sitting in the backyard on a chain. He deserves this 100%. Reporting in Harrison. David Lydon, 9 and 10 News.